In this video, we'll compare hemoglobin with myoglobin. Hemoglobin circulates in the blood inside the RBC, whereas myoglobin is found in the skeletal and cardiac muscles. Hemoglobin has two alpha and two beta chains, each containing an iron and carries four oxygen. Myoglobin contains only one alpha chain and has one heme and binds to one oxygen. The dissociation curve of the hemoglobin is sigmoid shaped curve and is to the right. The dissociation curve of the myoglobin is rectangular hyperbola and a curve is to the left of the hemoglobin curve. Hemoglobin has lower affinity for oxygen than myoglobin, so it releases oxygen normally when the tissues require them. Myoglobin has higher affinity for oxygen than hemoglobin. Its curve is on the left. It takes up the oxygen from the hemoglobin. Hemoglobin delivers oxygen normally to the tissues, whereas myoglobin releases oxygen only at very low PO2 and releases oxygen in the exercise muscles when the PO2 is very low. If RBC breaks down, hemoglobin is released in the blood and causes red discoloration of plasma. Rhabdomyolysis, the breakdown of muscle tissue releases myoglobin in the circulation. Hemoglobin is large so it cannot pass or filter through the glomerulus. Myoglobin because of its small size passes freely through glomerular filtrate, is not reabsorbed in the renal tubules and excreted from the kidney but is toxic to the kidney tubule causing ATN, acute tubular necrosis and acute renal failure. Red urine may be due to hematuria whereas myoglobin urea causes dark pigmented urine or red to brown urine. In hemoglobin urea there are abnormal shaped RBC for example Hain's body and bite cell as occur in G6PD deficiency. In myoglobinuria there is increased creatine kinase enzyme in the circulation.